Jesus Church. Thank you for joining us for another amazing service. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm so excited. Amen. Amen. I mean, Amen. you all look beautiful. You all look wonderful. And God has just been so amazing this morning. Amen. Amen. That we, we, we have started at a, at, a, at a higher notch. Amen. Amen. God is good. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, everyone, for deciding today to come to church because this is your day. Amen. Amen. God wants to speak to you. God has got something in his heart that he want to share with you. Amen. Amen. And he can't help it but to let you know what uh, he wants you to, to know. Amen. Amen. So the heading uh, or the title of our message today is Consistency. Amen. Amen. Just say it with me. Consistency. 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 Amen. Amen. And the subtitle is Never Too Late to Start. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Um, just say small description or rather the definition of consistency is just doing it again and again. Mm -hmm. It is the fuel. Amen. Amen. Doing it again and again. Amen. Amen. Sticking to the plan. Mm -hmm. Can you do that? Mm -hmm. Can you stick to the plan? And that's what we're talking about. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Destination or rather determination will get you started, but consistency will get you to the finishing line. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Most of us, I believe that we've got the faith, we've got the determination in ourselves, but sometimes we might lack, uh, lack uh, consistency. Amen. Amen. We might shortfall of the consistency in us, and that's what we need. Amen. Amen. Determination, that's a start, that's the beginning of the whole process itself. Amen. You need to, to be determined. You need to have something that pushes you, that you want to do something, that the hunger in yourself, that you, you want to get there. Amen. Amen. But unfortunately, most of us, we, we, we can start, but then in the middle of the line, we, we tend to give up. We tend to uh, grow weak. We need consistency. Amen. Amen. We need to keep up with the plan. Yes. Can you do that? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Say consistency. consistency. Consistency takes you to places where your peers cannot, cannot get. It takes you to places where they are afraid to go. Amen. It takes you to places where others are scared to get to. You know, people discourage you. People, who, they don't know where you're going and they would be like, how are you going to do this? What are you going to eat? Now, if you leave your job today, are you, how are you going to make it? You've got bills to pay. You've got kids that you need to feed and, and all that. Amen. Amen. Consistency, it takes you to places. And I just want to tell you this, that as much as we understand now that it will get us to the finish line, it is also very important that we need to know that our visions that we have, you don't need to share, or rather don't share your visions with the people who don't understand the vision or your vision. Don't share your vision with the people who are not in the same vision as you are. Because they don't know where you're going. Come on now. So don't be discouraged whenever you start something and then you feel like, or people are coming with all sorts of, you know, oppositions. Don't feel discouraged. They do not know where you're going. Come on, come on. Can you keep up with the plan? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. It makes you realize and say you, you, you're to yourself that I did it yesterday. And today I can do it again. Amen. Amen. It makes you realize that, you know what, last year, I was in it. We started it. And this year, we can do it better. This year, we can do it again. Amen. Amen. And yes, it was tough. Yes, it was difficult to start and to do it. But we can do it again through Christ who strengthens me. Hallelujah. And Philippians 4.13, Paul says it nicely. It says, I can do all this through him who gives me strength. 
The word says it. That's why I highlighted it. It says, I can do all. Yes. Yeah. Nothing is uh, left behind. Amen. Amen. You are able to do it. So in other words, you've been given the opportunity and you are equipped mm. to survive. You are equipped to be able to get to the end, to the finishing line. Because God has given us all that we need. Amen. Amen. Because we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, consistency, it, it brings out the good in you. Amen. It brings out the good in you. It brings out the best out of you. Consistency, it builds up the character. It's not there, but it builds up the character in you. Yes. That will take you to the finishing line. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You, may, you may start doing something or a project or have a plan uh, or a vision or a dream that you want to do something else. And without consistency, it's really going to challenge you. It's going to be difficult for you to, to go ahead and, 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 and achieve what you want to achieve. Amen. Amen. But really, it, it brings out the good out of you. Amen. Amen. Because you're running on your own competition. Amen. Amen. Because you're focused. You, you, you don't get bothered at what others are doing. You don't mind what others, whatever they're doing. You are just going because you are focused. Your eyes and your mind is focused on the Lord. Your eyes and your mind is focused on the goal, on your vision that you want to achieve. Amen. Amen. So consistency, consistency will take you, it builds the character in you. That will be able to take you from one place to another. That will take you from your previous experience, your previous project to another project. Amen. Because that's what you need. You need the endurance. You need the, 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 the guilt. You need the strength in order for you to be able to get to the next level. Hallelujah. Amen. By the way, you need to have the right attitude as well. Amen. That's my next slide. Have the right attitude. Hallelujah. Amen. You cannot tell yourself that you want to get somewhere. You, 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 you want to be someone up there and you, yet you don't have the right attitude. Yet your mind, you, you're thinking the negativities. Your mind, all you think is, or oh, you're affected by what other people are saying, your peers. Mm. Remember this, if some other people are not able to make it, doesn't mean you cannot make it. You are running on your own race. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Amen. That you can be able to say that I've run the race. I've finished the course. Mm. What remains for me is to receive my reward. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. And you can do that. You need to have the right attitude. And Philippians 4, 11 uh, to 13, the Bible says, I am not saying this because I am in need. For I have learned to, con to content whatever circumstances I know what it is to be in need and I know what it is to have plenty I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation whether well fed or hungry whether living in plenty or in, in, in want I can do all this through him who gives me strength hallelujah amen. we are in fasting amen Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And what Paul is saying here is that fasting, as we are doing, does not mean you don't have food to eat. Amen. It doesn't say that you don't have food to eat. But it's because there is something that is in you that you're longing for, that you want to achieve. There is a goal, there is a vision that you want to pursue. Amen. Amen. You know that you have what God has given us. You know that we have, that we all need. Amen. But you just want to spare this time and spare yourself for the God himself. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So you need to have the right attitude in order to get yourself into the position that you can be able to achieve. The vision that you have. Amen. Hallelujah. You cannot think you want to be a president and you, your mindset is that of uh, not even being a leader. Your mindset is that of just 
I cannot do anything. I'm weak. I'm, uh, you know, in my family, no one else went to, to college or never achieved anything else. You can never have that mindset. So you need to change your mindset. Be positive. Be positive. Amen. So if at all there was something that you wanted to start in this year, it's never too late. That's what I want to tell you. It's never too late. You can start. If at all you haven't joined us with fasting, you can join us. It's never too late. Amen. If at all you want to achieve anything else, you want to study, you want to go to school, you want to do anything you want to do in life, it's never too late. Amen. All you need is consistency. Keeping up with the plan. Can you stick to the plan? Can you stick to the plan? And consistency, it makes you realize and come to that point where you can realize that because I've been doing it over and over again, you, you, you get so used, you get so accustomed to doing the thing. So you are so good at what you're doing that you realize, uh, Sister Gabriela, that I can sing. Amen. Amen. That I can do this better. You become so confident that what you're doing Amen. Amen. So don't stop it there. Don't stop it there. Hallelujah. Amen. Keep on going. Amen. Now, how you start, it determines how you end. It is only that you start that you can get to the end. Yes. Because otherwise, how else are you going to get that certificate? How else are you going to get that degree? How else are you going to build that house? If you can't start, you need to start somewhere in order to get to where you're going, in order to achieve the vision that you have. Amen. Amen. And this can all be done through Jesus Christ because He's the one who strengthens us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It is the beginning indeed that determines the finishing. Amen. Amen. I mean, you, you find sometimes people, they want to they wanna get to the finish before they get even, before they start. How do you do that? You need to start in order to get to the end, in order to get to the finish. But you need to trust the process. Most of us, we've got the faith, we've got the determination, we have got that thing. But we need the consistency in order to get there and we need to trust the process so when it starts and when you stumble when you're facing the challenges when you're facing the oppositions just know that you are in the process you are in the right track amen, amen. hallelujah amen. he never said it's going to be easy yes. he never said it the bible doesn't say it's going to be easy yes. but all you need is to start you need to get to somewhere you need to get to a point where you can leave everything and anything behind and look forward and see your vision because no one else can see what you're seeing. Amen. No one else is in the same lane as you are. You are the only one who has got the vision. You are the only one who can pursue this vision. Amen. Amen. And sometimes we let, it, we let it pass. We let it go. Unfortunately, some other opportunity comes once. And he, God gives us. He said, I've given it to you, but you haven't used it. You haven't taken advantage of what I've given you. So you may have the determination, you may have the faith, and that's, yes, what it needs, uh, that you need, and that's what it takes, but you need consistency. You need to keep up when you start your journey. Amen. Hallelujah. Because God is preparing you for that. Amen. Amen. And by the way, the year has just started, so you got no excuse. Amen. You've got time to start. So never too late to start. Yes. You can study. You can do anything that you want to do. Hallelujah. Amen. By the way, I've never seen anyone build a mansion with a negative mind. That's why I was saying you need to have the right attitude. You need to be positive. You need to have the right attitude. Yes. No one builds a mansion with a negative mind. You need to be positive of what you're doing. Amen. And you need to trust the Lord that He is going to take you there. Because there are opponents, there are oppositions on the way, but it's that determination with the consistency in you that will build that character, the positivity in you that you can be able to make it. Hallelujah. And if you're feeling weak, you know, Joel says 310, the last part of it says, let the weak say, I am strong. You can say that with me. Let the weak say, I am strong. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Say it once again. Consistency. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. So sometimes you might feel weak, but you know what? You need to keep going. Come on. You need to keep going. Because that's the only way you're going to get to the end. Amen. If you stop now, the dream is going to die. If you stop now, your vision Ooh, is going to die. Come on Amen. Come the devil is out there to devour us. But it's only until we give him the opportunity. Then yes, he's going to do that. He's going to give us the... He's going to take all the energy and all the de determination, all the, the, the enthusiasm in us. But we need to keep up. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to read the scripture now from the book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 2 to 3. Amen. And the Bible says, By the seventh day, God had finished. Let me read from here because my I have to change the uh, orientation. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Really. By the seventh day, God has finished the work that he had been doing. So on the seventh day, he rested from all his work. Then God blessed the seventh day and made it holy because on it he rested from all the work of creation that he had done. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And indeed, on the seventh day, God rested. When everything came to its completion, he rested. Not on the sixth day, not in the middle. He rested when all the work was done. Time doesn't matter. Yes, sometimes we say time to ourselves that I want to achieve this in the year. I want to achieve this in two years to come. But time does not matter. What matters is finishing. Hallelujah. You need to finish. And we're seeing here, God is giving us an example. I mean, that was in the beginning, right in the beginning, before anything was formed. And he was busy working and creating the heaven and earth and everything that he created that we see. And he never give up. Oh, come on now. Can you imagine what would have happened if God decided, ah, no man, I cannot do this anymore. Mm. Uh, where are we going to be here today? No. We couldn't have had this universe today. Mm. But it was consistency. He kept on doing it. Day one, day two, day three, he kept on doing it. Mm. It was consistency in him. He had determination. I want to do this. I want to get to the... Hey, I just want to tell you this. Sometimes you may never know you may never see your vision or you may never know where you're going. Amen. Amen. But you need to trust the process. Yes. You need to see it in your mind and, and, and then you can, you can visualize it. Yes. And that's what keeps you going. Right. Because you're trusting on the Lord. Yes. And you have the energy from Jesus Christ himself because yes. he strengthens you. Yes. Amen. So you're never alone. You're never forsaken either. Amen. Hallelujah. So sometimes, yes, it makes me wonder, especially for young men and women, that sometimes, you know, we get an idea of finishing before we even start. You know, I'm taking a gap year. I mean, what's that? You know, that year, you, ca you could have been in the university, you could have been in a college. You could have done something. Amen. Amen. So don't finish before you start. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So keep on going, keep on doing this, amen. Because you've got the character that has been built in yourself that you can be able, and it's only you, by the way, amen. Some of us, we can't do your vision. We can't, we can't even dare and try to do what you're doing because you're the best of the person, amen. That's why I said it brings out the best out of you. Amen. That everyone else, it be that work or school, they'll say, hey, if you want this, Get to, to her. If you want this, go to him. You become a reference point. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That people run to. They run to you. And you wonder, you'll be surprised yourself. That, But how come? How come? It's all the consistency. It takes time, yes. But it's consistency. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, it is at the end that only it gets better. Amen. Amen. And that you can rest. Hallelujah. Amen. So sometimes you find that things, things might not seem the way they are. It might get tough as you continue with your journey, as you continue with your goal. But then you need to understand that 
It's until you get there. So never stop, never give up, and it's never too late to start. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, I'm just going to give you my testimony as well. You know, I had to leave my job and study at 38. I'm 41 now, turning 42 this year, but I had to leave my, my job. Something that brought in food, something that, you know, brought salt onto the table, bread onto the table, and I had to leave it and go study. And I had nowhere else to get the money to feed my family. Amen. Amen. So you can do that. Amen. Amen. And I just wanted to tell you that Matthew had to leave his tax collecting job and just to follow Jesus. Amen. James and Andrew, rather, uh, Peter and Andrew, they had to leave the business of fishing. Same as James and John. They were still in the same business of fishing. But they had to leave all to just follow Jesus, to follow their dream. That's why I'm saying that sometimes you may never know. You don't even know where you're going, but you're just going. Because that which is in you is so big. And by the way, if your vision is not, is not scaring you, it's not too big. If your vision is not scaring you, it's not that big. It should scare you at some point. How am I going to do this? How am I going to feed my family? How am I going to get the money to, to, to run the errands? Yeah. So it should come to that point, and that's when you begin to realize that you can do this. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, people just don't call you tough because they can see the characters that has been built into you. Some experiences that we, we go through are not there to destroy us, are not there to finish us, but it just prepares us for the next thing that God is going to do in our lives. It elevates us. So don't look at it when you go through trials and troubles. Don't look at it as if you are finished. Amen. Amen. But that is the beginning to your finishing line. Amen. Hallelujah. Because God is working in you. God is working through you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. There's nothing that is holding you, I believe so. Amen. Amen. And I'm not saying this that you must leave your job, but I'm telling you if it comes to that, you're going to do it. Amen. Amen. Because sometimes it takes you to leave all that you have to get started. You know, Peter, or rather Peter and Andrew, Matthew himself, as well as James and John, these, these guys, they had oppositions, you know. They had people, the peers, telling them, hey, but I mean, we have been fishing the whole of our lives. I mean, where, how the hell are you going to eat? How are you going to make it in life? Where are you going? And they did not know. Jesus just called them. And they followed. Amen. Moses was called out of the wilderness. And he was handed a rod in his hand to lead the children of the Israelites. He had no idea, but he trusted the process. He knew who is calling him. So when it is in your heart, you feel it. You know that whatever you're carrying, it's whatever is in your heart, you know that you have to take it to the end. So regardless of the discouragement, regardless of the distractions and what the peers may say, what the family uh, members might say, but you have got the reason because you are the one seeing the vision. You are the only one carrying this thing. And you know how big it is. Amen. Amen. Even our president of today, I mean, they never thought in their time that they would be president one day. Amen. I don't think so. Yeah. And it's in the same way. Mm. You never know that you are a great person in life, that you're going to become someone one day in life until you start, until you give it a go. Until you stick to the plan. Amen. Amen. So indeed, sometimes it takes you to let go of the most and the only reliable source. You know, that you can pursue this dream, that you can pursue your goal, that you can progress in life. So I'm encouraging you this morning, it's never too late to start. You can do better. All you need is the consistency. You have the faith. You have the determination. But you need consistency. That's doing it again and again. Amen. Amen. 
keeping up with the plan. Now procrastination will kill your vision or dream. Procrastination, it will, it will kill the enthusiasm in you. And it will kill that interest and that ambition that you have. So do not procrastinate either. Amen. Even though times might be tough, but you need to keep on going. And I'm going to conclude now. You need to keep on going. Keep on doing it. Amen. Amen. Because you are the only one who can see what's ahead of you. No one else can. And no one else can tell you. You are the only one who sees what's at the end of that certificate, that de degree, that di diploma. I mean, we just have had wonderful and amazing testimonies this morning. They hung in there. Amen. And now they can see the fruits and they are appreciating, they are thanking God because they have been bound to, to do so. Amen. Amen. In conclusion, Philippians chapter 1 verse 6, the Bible says, Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on into completion until the day of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 So you're not alone. So whenever you start something, don't ever think that you are doing it alone. Because he will never forsake you. He will never leave you. But he's going to be with you all the way. In fact, God wants you to do better. Even more so that he, wants, he won't leave you nor forsake you until the day Jesus comes. It's a promise. Church, it's a promise. Hallelujah. Whenever you feel weak, know that there is someone who will take you to the end. Who is willing to go with you? Because sometimes friends are not there. They say when things are tough, friends are few. Huh? Friends are not many, but not with Christ. He wants you to do better. He wants you to do good in your life. So keep on going. Keep on doing it. Have consistency in you. Be positive. Have some determination to you to fuel your journey, your vision, so that you can get to, to your vision. So have some uh, consistency in you. Amen. Amen. May God bless you. May we just all stand. I just want to pray for everyone. Amen. Just want to pray. Just going to take a second and pray. Amen. As I pray, let, let everyone else pray as well. Amen. Like I said, that you are the only one who has got that vision. Amen. You are the only one who is believing in God, in God for that vision. So I want us to pray that as, you, as much as you can see that vision flourishing and happening and coming to pass, see it from now that you are not giving up. See it from now that when you're weak, say, I am strong. So let us just pray. Father, we just want to come to you. Thank you, God, for the way. Thank you, God, because you have encouraged us. Thank you, God, because you have imparted something into our life, Almighty oh, God, Father, this morning. Because, Lord, you want us to do better. You want us, God, to get to our vision, to our dreams, Almighty oh, God. Father, Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that, Lord, may you help us that we get to the end, Almighty oh, God. May you help us, Almighty oh, God, that, Lord, as we are going through the year, Almighty oh, God, Father, that it's never too late to start, Almighty oh, God. It's never too late to do the things, Almighty oh, God, Father, that is of our heart. Thank you, Jesus, Almighty God, Father, for the way that, Lord, we have been encouraged, Lord. Father, we thank you, God, for everything that, Lord, you have set aside for us, Almighty God, that though we face trials, that though we face the opponents, that though we face oppositions, Almighty God, that we should be able to carry on, that we should be able, God, to move forward, Almighty God, because you have got a greater purpose, because you have got a greater, higher purpose in us, Almighty God, that we need to achieve. Thank you, Jesus, Almighty God, Father, because you are there for us. We thank you, God, because, Lord Jesus, we are not alone. And we thank you, God, for everything, God, that you have started in our lives. We thank you, God, for everything that, Lord, you are still in the process to take us to the end, Almighty God, to take us to the finishing line. And we believe in you, God. We've got the trust in you. We've got the faith in you, God, that through our consistency, Almighty God, that we're going to keep it up until the end, Almighty God. Father, we thank you and we bless Bless you, Almighty God, Father. And we continue praying that may you encourage each one of us, Almighty God, Father, that we continue doing so, Father. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. May the church say, Amen. Amen.